someone on the internet who will give honest advice about sex and dating to make sure that you don't blow it when the time comes, and that's what she said. You should always jerk off before you're hanging out with a girl that you like. It accomplishes three things. One, you'll be less aggressive, less desperate, more mellow, and more fun to hang out with. Two, your brain won't be clouded with jizz, and you won't just be thinking these sex thoughts that'll just try to get her laid, no. On the Soil Britches channel, you'll find Sex Vice, which is a show about sex advice hosted by this girl named Alana. She's an awesome host, and she's also not bad to look at. I'm not gonna say watching this show will get you some, but it won't hurt to check out and subscribe. So go over there, check them out. I know I have a lot of you guys who are interested in that stuff, considering the comments on my videos. So I thought you guys would enjoy their channel. Anyways, today I'm gonna be talking about dating out of your league. So a question I get a lot in the comments and on Twitter is, there's this super hot girl in my school, or I saw this super hot girl, and I wanna talk to her, but I don't consider myself super hot. Um, how do I go about dating or talking to a girl or hooking up with a girl who is like out of my league or just way, way hot? My first piece of advice is don't lose money. You see it all the time in like TV shows and on the news and things like that. A super young hot girl with an old ugly guy, and why is she with him? He's rich. The truth is, most of those young girls, those old guys, probably don't actually like them, they're just using them for their money. So if you automatically think that the best way to a hot girl's heart is to, you know, buy her presents and give her money, um, that's not really going to make her like you more. In fact, she might actually end up using you for the presents and the money and stuff. So never make that something that makes you seem like a better person, because it doesn't. It's just money. Dress nice and smell good. You know, even if you think that you're not in this girl's league, it's... You know, some guys will be like, oh, well, I'm not even going to try because I already know she's not attracted to me. That's not true. You know, every girl has a different taste. And if you still make sure that you're dressed, you know, nicely and you smell really good and you've done your hair and stuff, no even if you're not the best looking guy ever, she might still be attracted to the fact that you're trying and that you're put together Always and things nice like that. My next piece of advice is don't try too hard. A guy might be like, oh, I have to try really hard and be perfect and be funny and be cool and be this and be that because this girl is super hot. Um, but just be yourself. You know, you're, you don't want to end up having to put up this like different person. You don't want to end up being this different person who is not really like you at all and then she ends up liking you and now you have to be that person all the time. Just be yourself, guys. Be yourself. Be yourself. And my last piece of advice is be confident. Do you ever notice how in real life the most popular guys in your school are probably not actually hottest? I'm not saying they're gonna be ugly, but most of the time they're not really the super, super hot guys. They're the ones who are really confident and they're funny and they're not afraid to be loud and put themselves out there. That's the kind of guys that get the attention, that get the girls. You don't necessarily have to be the hottest guy ever, uh, but if you have a great personality and you're really confident, that always gets the girls' attention. So if you guys enjoyed these tips on dating out of your league, I will talk to you guys later. Melina wins. Flawless victory. Fatality.